welcome to Model Train Fun. Today, uh, celebrating more than uh, 1,000 subscribers, actually uh, more than uh, 1,010. Um, I'm, I'm truly grateful that uh, that many people uh, subscribe to the channel and, and feel there's uh, something in the channel that's uh, worth seeing uh, for them. So, uh, big thank you uh, from me. Um, um, I would uh, say I started this channel uh, with uh, two things in mind. Um, the first thing was that uh, it's actually very hard if you're a Macklin enthusiast to find uh, stuff and information and tutorials and so on in English. Um, and the second motivation was really that, uh, well, I love model trains and I wanted to uh, share the hobby um, uh, as much as I can. Um, I, I love uh, the model train community, it's, it's always nice people and I wanted to also take part in uh, contributing to the uh, community. Um, the um, English and, and finding information, um, I will have to say though that it uh, has improved lately. And even here in, in this weekend, uh, Macklin came up out with an updated version of their starter uh, layout, their starter layout episode one, and this time actually in English. Uh, they didn't film it in English, so they are actually reusing the, uh, the German uh, uh, series, and then they're just dubbing it. But to me, that's great. They are actually putting something out in English, and uh, go and look at this uh, series. Um, episode one is out, but they're going to build uh, an entire layout going from a starter set till you actually have a, a completed layout. Go look at this series, it's great. Um, evidence that uh, there's lots of people that are missing uh, information in English, though, I, I see from my very, very first episode, which was basically about getting started uh, with Macklin. Um, this episode has by far been the most popular episode. Uh, at all on the channel. Out of uh, more than 80,000 uh, views on the channel, uh, the 20,000 or let's say the 25% of the views are actually the first episode about getting started uh, with Macklin. So I definitely see a, a great interest for that. Um, the uh, Macklin uh, system to me is great because it's uh, easy to use. It's easy to get started. It's, it's basically just uh, unpack a starter set, set up the track, put the locomotives on the track, put the power on, and you're going. Um, so to me, it's, it's a great uh, way for people to get uh, into the, uh, the Macklin. And that's also why I made the, the Macklin uh, beginner uh, episodes, uh, which uh, I intend to cover as much as I can about the uh, Macklin system. So, so far there's been episodes uh, uh, from the track geometry and getting started all the way up to uh, signals and the next episode will actually be about the uh, M83 uh, decoder. Um, the uh, track geometry, which is the next piece as a beginner you have to learn. Uh, how to put it together, how to make more than just a simple oval and, and so on. Uh, that particular episode was actually uh, my uh, second most uh, viewed uh, uh, episode. I believe there's around 10,000 views on that one. Um, to me, uh, again, it proves that uh, that people really would like to know about Macklin. How do, how do I get started and how do I get going? So the second motivation uh, with the channel, which is uh, really uh, about having uh, fun with trains, um, that's uh, very, very close to me. I, I love trains. I, I grew up in Denmark, like uh, 12 meters from the train tracks. I've, I've seen uh, trains all my life. Um, I find uh, model trains uh, fascinating. Uh, and to me, in the model train uh, world, uh, really the, the trains are, are the fun part. And, and seeing them uh, run around uh, on the layout, uh, like you see here, um, I, I really uh, love the trains. I'm, I'm really into the uh, features of, of the, the trains uh, and, and the Macklin system as, as a whole. So I like the fact that uh, modern uh, trains have uh, 
light, they have sound, you can see uh, pantographs moving, you can see an engineer popping up uh, inside the, uh, the cab of the locomotive, there's lights in the trains and, and so on. To me, I'm, I'm really fascinated about that. I think it's really cool that you can build it into uh, small models uh, like this. Uh, and uh, it's, it's cool uh, to see it, it driving around. That's also why you've seen on the channel uh, some episodes about the N-Scale. I'm uh, truly a HO scale uh, guy and I love the HO sky scale. However, as you see, I have a limited uh, space. Uh, so I love seeing uh, long trains, long concerts, and that's why I've been, uh, let's say, uh, sticking a toe into the uh, N-Gauge uh, or N-Scale uh, waters. Um, because to me, <clears throat> now the N-Scale has grown so much that uh, they are fully digital, they come with light and sound and so on as well. And then you have the benefit of you can making really long trains uh, and see them running uh, around uh, as well. So I, I'm, I'm really impressed uh, with the modern N-Scale. I uh, really uh, love uh, making uh, temporary layouts. <clears throat> As you see here on the table here, I basically only have uh, 2 meters uh, times uh, uh, 1.2 meter, which is about 6.5 times 4 uh, feet. Uh, that's basically uh, my entire layout and my layout table. Um, I enjoy uh, pulling it apart, building a new layout, uh, and so on. Um, which uh, to me is a big part of the enjoyment uh, of the model trains is, is making uh, new tracks, uh, building a station as I see fit and, and so on. However, <clears throat> I must admit, I, I do miss uh, uh, two things. One is I miss making a, a big uh, uh, train station where you can see the live and the, the trains uh, going by, stopping at the uh, platforms, the freight trains uh, just passing through and, and so on. Um, so I am considering doing something uh, maybe a little more permanent. Um, the other thing I like is uh, I, I love, um, well, I guess the term is spaghetti mountains. I, I love the layouts uh, that are multiple levels where you see the trains going into a tunnel, appearing somewhere else and, and so on. So basically making layers of, of train tracks, um, which is also something you can do even on a, on a small table like this. Um, however, in order to do that, you have to do something more permanent. So I am thinking about uh, perhaps building something uh, more permanent uh, on top of the table. Uh, let's say uh, two, uh, 2 meters times uh, 1.2 uh, meter layout. Uh, we are actually building in, in several layers uh, and actually uh, building a, a mountain with tunnels and bridges and, and so on. So, what is uh, the joy of uh, model train and uh, model railroading? Well, um, to me, it's a temporary layout. I like Märklin, I like HO, uh, I like the European. Uh, to you, it might be uh, different. Maybe you like American trains. Uh, uh, maybe you like making landscaping and so on. Um, so, to me, the uh, hobby is broad and it's all about uh, the community and sharing and also accepting that everybody has their own interest. Uh, to me, I like something, somebody else likes something else. And, and to me, that's the, really the uh, joy of, of uh, model trains and, and railroading. That's why I like this uh, community so much. So I really hope that uh, this channel will give you inspiration to, uh, to get into the hobby. And I really hope that it uh, helps you as well with the tutorials and the beginner series and so on. Um, so I, I really hope uh, uh, you enjoy the channel. Um, I want to say a great thank you again for over a thousand uh, subscribers, more than a thousand and ten subscribers. Uh, really awesome. Uh, so uh, please do uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you uh, to all of those that already did subscribe. Hit like uh, if you uh, like the videos and uh, enjoy and have fun with model trains.